Developing news tonight, just a week before his criminal trial, suspended Greenville County Sheriff Will Lewis is back in the public eye. This after recordings of conversations about his possible resignation have been made public. You might remember Lewis was indicted on criminal obstruction of justice and misconduct in office charges last spring. This after he admitted to an extramarital affair that may have happened on a taxpayer funded trip to Charlotte. And now council members are speaking to our Ayla Ferrone about what actually happened in the weeks leading up to Lewis's indictment. And Ayla's here at the 7 on Main Studios live right now. So Ayla, there's a lot to unpack here. Have you gotten any idea of how Will Lewis is reacting to this? Well, I did have a chance to speak with Will Lewis's attorney, Rock Weiss, over the phone today. He tells me he is aware of the tapes, but hasn't actually listened to them personally. But there are people who have, and those who are part of the tapes are now reacting. Yeah, I appreciate you coming. In the weeks surrounding Will Lewis's indictment in 2017, County Council wanted to take action. The council did take a formal vote and asked for uh, Sheriff Lewis's resignation. I felt like that after that, the relationship between him and the County Council take a, took a, a, a nosedive. Now conversations show some were trying to find a way for Lewis to leave office with a buyout. It was talked about informally but it never got any traction because we felt as though it would give the appearance to the taxpayers that we were compensating people for wrongdoing. State Representative Bruce Bannister posting a response to the recorded conversations involving himself, saying he was eager to find a solution that benefited everyone and apologizing for comments that suggested otherwise. There were other outside groups talking about a possibility of ways for him to leave but council never took any of that up. County attorney Mark Tollison confirms this, telling me in an email, it really was just an inquiry and there was no real interest on county council to pursue it. The idea never went anywhere. And something like that isn't in the council's power anyway. We can't buy out the contract, to my knowledge, of anyone except the county administrator, the county attorney, and the clerk of council. The bigger problem for some is that these recordings exist at all. Activist UA Thompson saying this is what happens when people endeavor to play a form of rumored Chicago style politics in Greenville. Secret phone call recordings only show a level of shadiness and corruption. It's a little disappointing to think that elected officials cannot openly have a conversation with each other without fear of being recorded. Now, the governor suspended Lewis shortly after his indictment. I reached out to his office today and they referred me to a previous statement where the governor said he would have removed Lewis if he'd had the power to. I also spoke with the sheriff's office who declined to comment on this story today. Lewis's trial starts Monday in Greenville County. I'm live in studio, Ayla Ferrone, 7 News.